All right, this is the math magic. This is the math magic project in learn Java. So task one, create an int variable called my number. Set it equal to an integer other than zero. So I'm just going to choose one. We will refer to my number as the original number from now on. It's my, might be helpful to document this. Write a comment in the program that documents this. an int variable called step one. Set it equal to the original number. Multiplied by itself. Task four, create an int variable called step two. Did it equal to the previous result of step one? That's the original number, my number. Step five, create an int variable called step three. Get it equal to the previous result, step two divided by the original number. Two divided by the original number, which is my number. Create an int variable to step six. Create an int variable called step four. Set it equal to the previous result of step three plus 13. Plus 17 rather. Step 7, create an int variable called step 5. Set it equal to the previous result, step 4 minus. Minus the original number. Number eight, create an int variable called step six. Get it equal to the previous result of step five. Divided by six. Number nine, print out the value of the last step, then save and run your code. So 
last step was step six. Number three. Let's check what they say. Step six, yeah, that's right. Okay, so now go back to your code and change my number to any other integer run your program again. And let's just say number two. If we run it again, it's still the same. Is the output the same? It's math, math magic. <laughs> okay, so number 11, create job, great job completing this project. Want to keep changing, uh, challenging yourself, recreate this project using only two variables, my number and magic number. Use your understanding of compound assignment operators to recreate above program by only manipulating magic number. See the hint for help. So I'm just going to change this number to the number maybe 15. We run that, we still get the same answer. That is pretty cool, isn't it? All right, so let's move on. Okay, introduction to classes, classes, constructors. In order to create an object and instance of a class, we need a constructor method. The constructor is defined within the class. Let's take a look at the car class with a constructor. The constructor car shares the same name as the class. So let's head over to instructions number one. Let's explore how execution moves around the file with two methods. Add a print statement inside our store constructor with a message. I am inside the constructor method. We'll see this mes message whenever we create an instance of store by calling the constructor. Okay, start of the main method, because we need to put this public store, this new store within the public static void main method. So number two, we did not see our constructor message printed because we haven't run the code inside the constructor. Inside main, create an instance of store called lemonade stand. Don't forget the new keyword, we should see the constructor message. Put it just below, yeah. There's a bit of a typo. Okay. Inside main print lemon stand to see how Java represents this instance. Review order of the printed messages.
Okay, store at 2AAEE9190.